Now, I used to think Google AI Studio is designed just for developers, but I was totally wrong. I spent tons of hours learning to use Google AI Studio efficiently, so you don't have to. I was truly amazed at how powerful it is and genuinely regret that I did not start learning it earlier. Plus, it's completely free. Now, you may ask, what's the difference between Gemini and Google AI Studio? Well, officially, Google will tell you that the AI Studio is more for the developers. But in reality, everybody can benefit a lot more by knowing how to use Google's AI Studio. Have you ever get frustrated by your cluttered desktop folder with tons of screenshots? that you prepared for chatbot conversations? Well, you may never need to take a screenshot like that with Google AI Studio's URL context feature. You'll also learn how to use the stream function to get real-time AI guidance on using any software. And an inappropriately large number of cats somehow made their way into this tutorial. Totally unplanned, but you're welcome. Let's dive in. So here is Google AI Studio's main interface, and there are three major sections. On the left-hand side, there are different icons here. There's chat, stream, generate media, build, and history. And the main panel here is something we're familiar with. It's a chat interface where you can enter your question prompts here and get answers. Now, on top of this panel, there is a file icon. This is actually system instructions. If you click on it right here, you can type in what kind of tone and style you want the model to take on. For example, if you are a marketing specialist and you tend to have a lot of questions regarding marketing and your company, then you can specify that you are a marketing specialist, so you can save yourself a lot of time without needing to enter those prompts every time you ask a marketing specialist type of question. And on the right-hand side, the run settings, of course, here you can change different models. One key benefit here using AI Studio here over the Gemini website is you actually get more free tokens to experiment with. And temperature, just means, do you want the model to be more creative? And I usually just leave it at one. Or for tasks require a lot of artistic imagination, such as write a story based on so-and-so. In that case, I will probably turn up the temperature volume here. Under tools, these are really powerful. And if we enable structured output, we can specify a JSON format. And if you are not familiar with the JSON language, there's also the visual editor function where you can just add property manually. Just JSON format is really easy for the computer to read and understand. Code execution. So here we want to turn this one on if you want your code to do some mathematical computations and executing a little program, things like that. Function calling is pretty much giving your model access to other tools such as a weather database or news article database and retrieve information that is helpful to answer your question. So grounding with Google search in URL context, these are very interesting. I'm not going to directly respond to these two here because I wanted to test the stream option of the AI Studio, which is unarguably one of the most exciting features that the AI Studio offers. So on the left-hand side, let's click on stream. Now here, you can use the talk button to directly having a conversation with Gemini, and then you can try different voices. I think this is pretty common if you have used ChatGPT or Claude conversation functions. That is really similar. Would allow Gemini to have eyes to see via your webcam. Let's test the webcam. I'm, I'm curious. All right, now, can you see what I'm holding? Yes, I see a set of small ceramic cat figurines in a clear package. They look like lucky cats. Can you tell me what's written on these cats? Yes, the first cat has writing that seems to signify luck. The second cat has writing related to wealth. And the third cat has writing that indicates welcoming customers or people. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, could you describe each cat so I can distinguish them? And also the specific languages on the cat, please? Certainly. 
The first cat is white with its right paw raised and it has Japanese writing for luck. The second cat is also white raising its left paw and has Japanese writing for wealth. The third cat is calico with both paws raised and has Japanese writing for welcoming customers. Thank you. Cool, so let's try share screen. People have been using this on software tutorials. I think that's a great idea. And today, I want to ask Gemini answer questions about the AI Studio. What better questions I can ask Gemini than asking it to answer its own product? So click on share screen. I'm going to go to Chrome tab. Hi there, can you see my screen? Yes, I can see your screen. It looks like you're on the AI Studio homepage. Yes, I have some questions that I want to understand under tools. Tell me more about what exactly is grounding with Google search. Grounding with Google search is a feature that allows the model to use Google search results to provide more accurate and up-to-date information. Cool. So I heard Gemini can intelligently choose when to search the internet or not. So isn't this function a little bit extraneous? That's a good point. While Gemini can naturally decide when to use search, explicitly turning on grounding with Google search ensures that it always uses search for information, providing the most current and verified data. It gives you more control over the source of information. Perfect. So if I turn this one on, the model will always do Google search. Is that right? Yes, that's correct. When you turn on grounding with Google search, the model will always use Google search for information for its responses. All right, now tell me more about what exactly is URL context. URL context allows you to provide a specific URL to the model, so it can use the content from that web page as context for its responses. That's very cool. So if I just copy and paste in a website link, it will know pretty much like a screenshot of the website, so I don't need to do manual screenshots of the website, right? Yes. Instead of using multiple screenshots, you can simply provide the URL and the model will access the content directly from the web page for understand the context. That's pretty cool. So the model with the provided URL, it will be able to view all the underlying codes, right? Yes, the model will be able to access and understand the content from the URL, including the underlying code to provide a more comprehensive understanding of the web page. So that's the reason I waited until now to tell you the two functions, grounding with Google search in the URL context. And I think URL context is extremely helpful because in the past, we may wanted to do a screenshot or multiple screenshots to let the model understand what we can see and what kind of inspiration we wanted to draw from a website. And now with just a single link, not only what our human eyes can see, but also all the underlying codes. And think about the potential of what you can do with just a URL link, right? So for example, if you find a landing page you really like or a company homepage you really like and you wanted to emulate that, you do not need to manually do lots of screenshots and describe them anymore. The model can automatically see the visuals and also understand codes underlying it. So I think this is really powerful and it's really easy for you to miss. I'm going to turn on URL contacts. Now, the, this is my personal website. So I copy and paste the link of my website here. I'm going to ask Gemini to give me suggestions on areas of improvement. Because in the past, I, I don't know about you, I used URL links and then Usually a model will say, oh, the model is not able to view the website, something like that. So I'm really excited about this function. All right, enable newsletter, sign up, adding testimonials and case studies. Yes, and clarify the community offerings. Perfect. Um, so I think this is pretty amazing because this is like a live tutor with you and you no longer need to compile textual prompts to talk with the large language model. I think this is really powerful. If you have a powerful use case, please do share it in the comment section below. So the last area I wanted to share 
with Google AI Studio is the Build tab. Tiny suggestion here to Google. I think there's some improvement for your UI because here people might think this is for developers. I'm not going to click on it. But no, this is pretty powerful. If you click on it, yes, here you are able to build apps with Gemini. Even if you're not a developer, there are some very interesting apps using Gemini models you can try out right away. And they're all free for now. And there's videos to learning app, instantly turn YouTube videos into fun learning apps using AI. And there's also tiny cats. How fitting. A tiny cats explain get fun, illustrated slideshows, breaking down complex topics with adorable feline metaphors. Uh, please, we just have to try this. I hope it's not going to be a waste of our time. <laughs> explain things with lots of tiny cats uh, as if I were only six. Wow, it's really quick, huh? These little cats are everywhere at once. It's like magic. But when you try to save one tiny cat, it picks just one spot. Poof. These tiny cats can also be sneaky or right away, not in between. And sometimes two tiny cats are connected even when... Well, I didn't expect that I would be reading cat stories in this video. So please excuse me. But I do think these are kind of cute and mood lifting. <laughs> I think you should try. And it's kind of helpful. And let's try another one that's really popular. Map Planner It's taking a while. Now this one is connected with Google Map and there's a day planner mode. Create a day trip to Yosemite National Park, San Francisco Airport. Cool, it's a very detailed itinerary and it's mapped on this map. I think it's pretty cool. So there are tons of different apps you can try here. If you found something really interesting and helpful, sure, please share your experience in the comment section below. These are the exciting new experiments and functions that you can play with using Google AI Studio, even if you are already a pro user with Gemini. Thank you for your time watching this video. As always, please share your questions, comments in the comment section below. And if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you in the next video.